Hey everyone and welcome to Simply Nurse YouTube channel where we will see the difference between the Canva and the Figma. You have probably seen the term Canva and Figma spoken if you have explored the interesting topic of top tips and tricks for the Canva and Figma. In this tutorial, we will cover everything you need to know about the difference between the Canva and Figma. So without any further delay, let's move ahead for our session. But before we start, if you haven't subscribed to our channel, then please click on the subscribe button and hit the bell icon to never miss an update from Simply Learn. In many industries, visuals are essential. We propose ideas for improved communications, whether well displayed photographs or buttons. Canva and Figma provides equal access to use and price and third-party plugins on the applications, but there are also many distinctions with some of the basic comparison between the two. So the first one is platform access, best design purposes, drawing tools, image editing, and the last one, plugins and apps. Let us have a simple quiz question to brush up on our knowledge. Who is the founder of Figma? So the options are Melanie Perkins, Delan Field, Shantanu Narayan, and the last one, Steve Jobs. Please answer in the comment section below and we will update the correct answer in the pinned comments. You can pause the video, give it a thought and answer it in the comment section. So now let's discuss it in detail. First we will see what is Canva. It is an online graphic design platform for non-designers wishing to quickly and easily creating the simple graphics for nearly anything including infographics, presentation, posters and social media graphics, logos and other visuals content. After the Canva, we will understand what is Figma. Figma is more than just a tool for manipulating photos. In fact, it is a design software with a singular forces on UI and UX design. In the Canva versus Figma discussion, Figma is a software for designing products. You can quickly create and prototype application with the help of Figma. Now we will discuss some basic features for the both Canva and the Figma. So the first one is platform access. The key factor to consider when selecting a design platform is accessibility. The places where you can utilize the Canva and Figma are listed below. For the Canva, you may use Canva as a browser-based design tool by downloading an app for Mac, Windows, iOS, and Android. Your previous design will be saved in your Canva account even if you can check in using a different device. You could use an app to save work locally if you don't have an internet connection. For the Figma, is it another online design tool that can be used on Mac, Windows, and Linux desktop computers. An iOS and Android mobile app is also available for Figma. Your design history, files, and plugins are all accessible from any device when linked to your Figma account, although the application permits offline design. And the next one is Best Design Purposes. Consider their simplicity, convenience, and accessibility. Certain platforms are made for more effective uses than others. Here is a list of what Canva and Figma Excel is. For the Canva, Canva's primary area of expertise is social media design, including Instagram stories, YouTube thumbnails, and Facebook banners. There are a lot of free themes available for popular social networking sites. You can produce a variety of reasons. Canva offers easily editable templates for calendars, presentations, and stationaries. And for the Figma, since Figma is primarily employed as a user experience and user interface design tool, it performs well when being used to create the website, applications, and other interfaces. However, you can also use it to make other things like presentations, resume, and the animations for Instagram stories. Most design in Figmas are dynamic rather than static. And the next one is drawing tools. If you are required drawing instruments, the comparison that follows will assist you in making the best option. And for the Canva, it is a design capabilities that are limited in comparison to other design software. There is no pen tool available in the elements menu, only the line and the form tools. 
It's free to use lines and curves in your sketches than to start from the blank. And for the Figma, drawings can be edited right in the app using Figma Pen and Pencil Tool. A few form tools are also included that can utilize an addition to the pen tools. Having the ability is great. However, it's the best to import individual drawings from other applications for the UI and UX design. The next one is image editing. Image editing is a workflow feature whether you manage social media or a photographer. You may read more about the Canva and Figma's abilities in the section below. For the Canva, most of Canva image editing capabilities are adjustment switchment and third-party filters. While some of its features are equal to those of Photoshop, Canva products offer less customization. And the texture application is covered in the tutorial with the Canva Pro, you get the access to more and better editing tool. And for the Figma, the majority of Figma's image editing features are quite basic because it is not designed to be used for photo editing. Additional options include altering the colors or applying brand modes to the image. The tool called Figma needs to change image from one other tool to be provided in advance. And the last one is plugins and app. Your productivity may be greatly increased by using plugins. The tools that you can combine with Canva and Figma are listed below. For the Canva, these provides unique method for locating and utilizing other resources. The elements panel is the first item on the menu bar. To use your creations, you can find here graphics audio, video, movies, animations, and illustrations. You can actively download elements that are not already in the Canva. However, you can only perform searches for the particular words. And for the Figma, Figma offers a huge selection of plugins on its community page. In addition to the third-party application like Unsplash for stock images, wireframes or initial designs, and placeholders plugin for the text, Figma also offers mockup plugins. Anybody can make a plugin with a Figma account and anyone also can use a plugin. After the comparison between the Canva and Figma, we will discuss the pros and cons for the Canva and Figma. Some of the pros for the Canvas are the software is easy to use and amazingly made templates. It's free to subscribe and there is a collection of animated GIFs. And some of its cons are not for professional designers. There are not many free templates readily available in Canva. Now for the Figma, some of its pros are it makes quick prototypes and presentations possible, utilizing the browser-based application for the cloud data storage. It works well for design and graphics. Some of its cons are, it's difficult to understand the auto layout. The presentation mode might be improved. After understanding the pros and cons, we will see the pricing for the both. Figma and Canva offer the free version of the program and paid addition depending on your needed capabilities. There are three price categories for the Canva. It's free as $0 and the premium will be $12.99 monthly with a maximum of 5%. You will be charged $7 for each new member if you are a monthly plan or $60 per month if you are an annual plan. One is the enterprise, $30 per user per month, minimum of 25 users. And the Figma offers four pricing categories. The first one is free. Access to the mobile app and plugins, three Figma and unlimited users, and the personal files. And the second one is professional. Include all the capabilities of plus free unlimited Figma files, version history, and access permissions. And the third one is enterprise. $75 for each Figma editor monthly with more sophisticated security measures. And the last one is organizational libraries. Centralized data management, 
private plugins and more are included in the $45 per month per editor. With this we have come to the end of this session where we have seen the major differences between the Canva and the Figma. If you want to use a graphic design program without having any advanced knowledge, Canva is probably the best option for you. The best design tool for creating UI UX is Figma, which is ideal. With this tool, you can create more thorough design experiences despite its increased complexity. Do you have any doubts about the difference between the Canva versus Figma? Please let us know your queries in the comment box below and we will get back to you as soon as possible. Thank you, stay tuned to Simply Learn and keep learning. Hi there, if you like this video, subscribe to the Simply Learn YouTube channel and click here to watch similar videos. To nerd up and get certified, click here.